Hello guys. So, uh, today I want opportunities to make some seriously good returns from quick trades. This is about knowing your sport. If you don't, we wouldn't watch this. But, worthwhile to know. Uh, before I get into that, a bit of the spreadsheet of the first 26 coins I spoke about in the channel. Had you invested 100 bucks into each of these when I released videos about them, you're still holding that crypto, you profit for over 12 grand. Now, obviously we're in a bear cycle the, and retracements are continuing. Guys, build, I've been saying it for six months that we were going to hit a bear cycle. Six months. And in that time, I have said consistently, build your list of coins that you recite about long term. If you haven't, if you haven't got around to it, you've still got time. There is plenty of opportunity in this market to pick and to review and find gems, undervalued gems, particularly in a bear cycle where huge profit is made. This is, and I've shown this in previous videos with the NASDAQ, Dow Jones, gold, diamond, housing, all of them. Bear cycles, recessions are the ideal time to make money. Look at when the dot-com bubble burst. Um, Amazon was a phenomenal pickup. And anyone that did that made a mint. There are opportunities always. Um, if you don't have the time or the energy to look up those, to find those coins, to find those gems, you can come to copy my crypto, see the coins I'm looking at, the coins I'm going to be buying during the bear cycle. Because the moment I pull the trigger on a coin, I think in 20x or more, I'll be telling people and uh, letting the members know. So if you want to know, click the link in the description and check it out. All right, fan tokens. So listen, fan tokens are a very, very weird phenomenon. No denying that whatsoever. Um, Fan tokens are fundamentally meant to, key thing, meant to offer some seriously good positives for any fan that's holding them, whether it's discounts on goods, whether it's discounts on um, on tickets, whether it's voting uh, on things within your club that you support. Um the fan tokens right now and for the past year or so have been slated in the media. And to be fair, you know, they're not really offering opportunities um, for fans, really. And they're also highly volatile. But of course they are because they're cryptos. But the problem is, is a lot of these, these clubs that have advertised their tokens have not really pointed out, by the way, they can drop in value. But there are opportunities to make really significant profit. And it's worth noting that if a particular club has a fan token and something significant happens, whether it's a signing or whatever, then money can be made. And that's really worth noting. Take a look at PSG as an example. So last summer, around, I think it was August 10th, um, Lionel Messi signed for PSG. It's a big, big moment. And if we look at the chart, we can see what happened. Good God, it's taking ages. Why is it taking so long? There we go. No. Good God. There we go. Right, so around August 10th. And what we saw was a huge pump, particularly prior, because the rumors really started circulating. Now, actually, around August 4th, it bottomed in that little dip. But what we saw in that week build-up was, look, Lionel Messi's leaving Barcelona. And the huge rumour cycle within the news was, he's going to go to Paris Saint-Germain, which he did. And what we saw is it peak out at around... 50 something bucks and I actually think on the daily it was closer to 60 bucks so that was a two and a half x rough well or closer to a three x in just a matter of days because of that rumored news um and that's it like the 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 beauty within these fan tokens is fundamentally look if there's a significant development whether it's something as simple as look your club or the club that has a fan token wins a champions league or um, the club that you ha that has a fan token makes a massive signing. You know, as a as as something worth noting at this moment in time, Lionel Messi may potentially leave um, PSG and go back to Barcelona. 
And this this rumor is circulating a lot at the moment. So I it's worth noting that right now the Barcelona token is three dollars eighty eight. If he was to return, I would expect this to pump. You know, it's the same thing if you're looking at these big name signings. The difference that they can make. And by contrast, one of those big name signings leaves. Price drops. Um, and it's really worth noting because these things happen. And if you know your sport and you know uh, a particular club really well, then you can see those things in action. Because um, if we take a look at Barcelona's price, I'm not sure. To be fair, I don't know what this did at the time that uh, he left. But let's have a look because we know it was around August 10th that it was confirmed as signed with PSG. But I think he left several days prior for Barcelona. So I'd be very intrigued to see what happens. And I haven't looked at this. So maybe maybe it doesn't, doesn't always ring true. Because during the summer we were in a bull cycle. So maybe Barcelona's put token just pumped anyway, because it was a bull cycle. Um, although we'll see, because apparently charts don't work today, which is infuriating, to say the least. Um, <laughs> yeah. So while this loads, how are you all? Um, <laughs> yeah. This is. I'm going to pause this so I can just get it. Oh, Jesus Christ! That took a while. So, um, around August, so we saw um, Messi confirmed as leaving, uh, and he confirmed as signing with someone else August 10th. Uh, he says, I'm with PSG. So, it, uh, August 9th, it peaked out and just dropped. And it hasn't actually regained value. To be fair, Barcelona are a shell of what they used to be. But it's very interesting in terms of just... Bearing in mind, peaked and then dropped. And if you'd have shorted this, see if it done very, very well. Um, I'm not sure if you can short this, mind you. But I know it's a tradable asset on Binance, so it's possible it can be shorted. Uh, I think it's probably unlikely that they offer shorts on these. Um, but this is all I'm saying. Like I don't, I don't actually see right now true value in some of these tokens in terms of as a, as a, as a sporting fan. Um, but I see value in terms of potentially a quick trade, big news cycle. So as an example, again, Roma next week are in a, um, a final. It's the Europa Conference League. So it's a shitty tie like cup, but were they to win it? Maybe the, we might see the price go up. Is something worth noting that ha that that matches next Thursday or Friday, so if that pumps off the back of that, that's worth worth noting these moments. Um, you know, as an example, on Sunday Leeds United may get relegated. If they get relegated, that price could drop. If they stay in the Premier League, because it looks like they've got a lot of shot of getting relegated, if they stay in the Premier League. Might pump. Same principle with Everton. Everton are actually in a very similar situation. Um, if Aston Villa were to beat Man City last game of the season, Aston Villa's token could pump. This is all these kind of things are worth noting because if you are a massive fan of sport, there's and you understand it and you know and you can see what's coming and you and you're pretty good at predicting things, then you might have uh, an opportunity here because the swings. On these are pretty dramatic, you know. We've seen, we saw actually yesterday some of these tokens pumping, you know, 60, 70, 80 percent just yesterday. Um, and it seemed like the Santos listing on Binance made all the others pump. Um, you know, Man City might win the Premier League on Sunday if they do. Will their token pump? All these things are variables worth noting. Now, more significant ones are obviously massive, massive news, pieces of news. So if it's a huge, if it's one of the world's best players, that's going to have an impact on these tokens. Because they are tradable assets. It's a very intriguing one. Um, and I just wanted to present something a little different, because at the moment, it's a bit, 
it's a bit boring in the market because like I like the bear cycle. It's just time to accumulate. It's time to research. I like that. I'm a nerd. I love research. I love data. That's what I do. But the news is boring. So I wanted to present something a little more unique, a little more, a little different. I hope this is uh, interesting to you. If it is, like the video. If it isn't, still like the video. You can help. Be helpful. Um, hit the bell notification so you know when new content's coming out as well. Um, and that's it from me. And if uh, you're not prepared for your bear cycle, if you're not doing your research, you can come to Copy My Crypto where I'll be sharing the coins I get into during the bear cycle. Any coin I think in 20x or more are coins I'm buying up. So if you want to know what they are, you can click that link in the description and check it out. That's it for me. Take it easy. Bye-bye.